Can this noodle replacement save keto? Well, that's kind of dramatic, but we're gonna try it anyway. I would say that a lot of people complain about the pasta options on keto, but this recipe that's going viral right now, we are very excited to try it because we just made it ourselves. Can you believe this? It looks legit. I'm surprised. I am too. Some would say that the current keto noodle replacements are a bit lacking, but it just so happens that Caroline Ketchum from All Day I Dream About Food shared a keto noodle replacement that is going viral. The recipe is by Keto Asian Flavor. We will link her recipe and her channel below. You should definitely go check it out. It's a great high quality video so that you can see exactly how this recipe is made. Sarah and I are doing this video because we feel that if we can get this right, anybody can. So we are going to test out this recipe, see how hard it is, and try it on camera for all of you. Some of the ingredients in this recipe kind of sound like a chemistry experiment, like sodium alginate and calcium lactate. Funny story, my father is actually a retired forensic chemist. Funnier story, I barely passed chemistry and I really suck at it. So we're just gonna have fun with this recipe and see how it goes. The basis for this recipe calls for filtered water and egg yolk powder. And we've never actually used egg yolk powder before and I didn't even know it existed until this recipe. Remember to check her original recipe for all of the nuances in this recipe, including the exact measurements of what you're gonna need. We're just gonna run through it right now. We have our blender here, we're gonna turn it on. We're actually using a piece of parchment paper folded into a funnel because we cannot open this without it turning off and it should be on while you're adding all the ingredients. So I'm gonna add all the ingredients in. First the egg yolk powder and then the lupin flour and then the rest of the ingredients. So let's do that now. Already we have messed up. I didn't make the hole big enough. I'm just going to be adding this in there and then starting it up and adding it and starting it up. It's a very powerful blender. All right, we're doing this really quickly then because we cannot use the blender while it's done. Next up, the salt, the xanthan gum. All right, and last up, the uh, whatever this was. All right, now we transfer it to a bowl. Ooh, it is thickened. Excellent. Looking good so far, we're gonna put this aside for 30 minutes. All the air bubbles that are inside are gonna to rise to the top and then we are gonna continue on with this recipe. I have a good feeling about this one. It's been 30 minutes and it looks interesting. She says that you're supposed to like kind of take some of the bubbles off. There's not that many actually. So I'm just gonna scrape the bubbles off and then we're gonna color it with some turmeric and then we're gonna load her up in the squirty bottle, which is what I'm scared about. Cause that's the whole coordination thing where you're squirting and you're stirring and this is where it could all go terribly wrong. I have little to no hope in my ability to not get this all over Sarah's kitchen and she's already freaking out about it. So I'm going to be piping it into the squeezy bottle with a bag. So that means, no, that doesn't work if it's inside of there. Oh my gosh. We have some weird bags. They don't have a tip. So maybe because they're like freezer bags, they don't have a tip on it. Okay. What is this? Why? Why does it look like that? Kind of, this is gonna turn out What well. kind of bag do I can tell. On? I can tell. Well, this is just be go a... slowly, please. Make a small hole in the beginning because it might expand even more. So see you in five years. Seriously, what am I supposed to? Slow and steady. I'm worried. I'm going faster now. So we've taken filtered water and dissolved calcium lactate in here, whatever that is. You're supposed to create a vortex, if you will. And into this vortex, you're gonna squirt your Stop. mixture and a chemical reaction will happen where they will harden. It was very cool when she did this in the video, not gonna lie, when I watched it, my mouth was literally like. I have problems though with coordination and whatnot, so stirring while squeezing, it might take me a minute. Let's get this vortex going. I believe in you. It's happening. Oh. 
Something's happening. You know, this reminds me of funnel cake. Have you ever made a funnel cake before, but it's like in oil? My hands are getting tired. Keep going. It's happening, it's working, it's doing something. <laughs> wow, look at that. Sierra, come Be on. Gentle with her. It looks good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's important to not let it squirt out like pew, 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 or like that. It's important to have it be one like continuous string. So let us continue. We have half a bottle left. <laughs> exactly. Don't do that. What Emily's doing. Don't. <laughs> okay. So I'm excited. We're going to strain the spaghetti noodles out with a colander. What is this? Yeah. Sieve. We're just going to wash them and then we're going to plate them up with some sauce and try it. It smells like tomato sauce because we put that on there, but the shape is legit, the color is legit. Spaghetti House, that's what it reminds me of. Sarah's acting like she has never been there, but I, I know that been there. We, we've been to Spaghetti House. It's like a chain of spaghetti restaurants. Am I making this up? Maybe. It looks like a smokestack. I have no idea okay, what you're talking Okay, whatever. About. Anyway, okay, let's try it. Excited. I'm gonna get it all on my spoon here. Fork, I mean, my utensil. Mm. It's good. It is very good. It's I'm very surprised <laughs> right now. Wow. The t it's got a bite to it, the yes. tenderness. I would say it kind of maybe a little bit tastes like a miracle noodle, a yeah. little bit. I think that next time, I think I will leave it on a towel or something to dry. This is like the issue I usually have with these types of noodles is that there's water that was on top of the noodle when mm. you wash it. So in the future, I would dry it on a towel so it doesn't thin out my sauce. And that's what every noodle replacement is. It's a vessel for sauce, All right. right? So I think this is really, really good. I'm surprised. <laughs> Usually when you get those other noodles that are already prepackaged, they have this weird smell. Mm -hmm. And I think that has something to do with a storing agent mm -hmm. and it smells fishy and you're like, why does it smell like that? It's because of the lime and the calcium that they use to make it preserved longer. So this doesn't have that smell, which is really a bonus, I think. It's amazing. Our father would be so proud of us right now, but he's 82 years old and he does not watch YouTube. Dad, this one's for you. It did feel like a science experiment. It did. It's fun though. I think that if you have kids, this would be great to do the squirting in the liquid as you're turning it. It is just, I was a good amazed. Old time. What an amazing recipe by Keto Asian Flavors. You have to check out her channel. She gives amazing instructions on how to do this. I don't think I would have ever been able to figure this out had she not had such a clear and precise video. It's a great video to show you step by step. We cannot do that here on this channel. <laughs> We're simple folk. <laughs> but if we can make this, you guys can too. I will say that when I saw the bag of ingredients, like they come in like a tiny little bag, but you only need like a couple tablespoons of this stuff in order to make this much pasta. But if you're gonna make it all the time, you might as well, you know, just buy it in bulk because I, it's pretty expensive yeah. to do it the first time. But if you buy it in bulk, it'll probably last you like six months or something. And you only need a couple tablespoons of each because most of it is water. Right. What if you could somehow make it like flat and long and make it like pad thai noodles? You could use these in any type. Who cares what the shape is? Like I'm so over the shape, honestly. I think they really don't have any smell. And that was what really turned me off about those other noodles. This doesn't have any smell other than the pasta sauce that I have on there. I mean, it is, you gotta try it. We are using Rayo's sauce on here, so it's kind of like a sugar-free, low-carb keto option. If but it would be great with your own homemade sauce, even butter and spices. Alfredo, a carbonara. Yeah. Chicken parmesan. Yeah, there's tons of different uses for this. I will make this again. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We're really hoping to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And a couple weeks ago, we put out a video making ravioli out of cheese, which is perfect for fall. If you'd like to see that video, you can click here and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are, are the Keto Twins, signing out. out. I'm not, I'm done. I don't have anything left. Nothing.